Friends, hello. It is the weekend. We are here talking about PROG. This is one of those stocks that when, you know, I talk about it and when I was talking about here just a few weeks ago, I hope people listen and I, you know, maybe they bought in at the right time or maybe they're still in the fence about it. That's all okay. Let's talk about what's going on here with this. So, first off, where I sit with this stock, what do I think about? You know, how high? A lot of everyone asks me, you know, what do you think this is going to do? What do you think this is going to hit? I, I never really like to give an exact number because this is the stock market and no one has the exact number. It just it doesn't exist. There's no one out there that good. And when I look at this stock, really how I look at it, how I view it, I look at the company and I go, yes, this is a good company. This is They're doing good things. I've talked about that. But when I really look at this and go, this could go as far as the sky is because the Reddit community is, they, they've got their mitts on this. And when the Reddit community has their mitts on something, there's really no telling what something's going to do. It's going to fluctuate. It's going to hit a new high. It's going to fluctuate down, middle, up, up, down, up, down, middle. We just keep seeing that and we're in this new age of investing where when the retail investors get a hold of something, this is what we have to look forward to and watch. And right now, you know, there's really no telling what this thing is going to do. It could be $10 next week. It could be $3 next week. There's really no telling. And when you're looking up news on it, a lot of these analysts that give their opinions with articles and all these kind of hyped up things... Most of them are saying the same thing. They are 50-50 on it because they know the Reddit community has a hold of this. And if we've learned anything this past year and a half, uh, you know, don't go against the Reddit community because they will light you up. But one thing that we do see with this stock right now, it's been having a crazy volume. So look at the 16th here. This is when things really start to get crazy here and really drive this back up into this five to six dollar range. On the 16th, we had almost 400 million in volume. The next day, not as much volume, right under 300 million, but look what happened here. A $6.2 in the high here, $6.20. And the low fell back down to that 4.57. The next day, the 18th, we had it open at $4.61. Then not much happened there that day. Only 80 million in volume. Still quite a bit of volume, honestly. And then to wrap up the week on that Friday, this was one of the only things really doing much on Friday. Hitting around that $5.15 per high, then plummeting back down to a $3.97 for a low, and then closing at that $4.89. So, not a bad week if you bought into this, you know, a few weeks ago when this was sitting at a $3.50, a little bit of a $4 mid range there. You're probably in some pretty safe ground right now. So obviously, if you were in the stock, you've heard of the squeeze that is trying to happen with this. So. Is there a squeeze? Has a squeeze happened? I don't think it's ever safe to say that the squeeze has happened because, you know, even in GameStop and even in AMC, we still see these big squeezes, but we've seen these little squeezes take place as well. And obviously, there's still plenty of meat left on the bone here for this to have even a mid-range squeeze. So friends, with all this said, listen, uh, what I have to say about this is, is that we know that the Wall Street bets community has this in their grips. And, you know, if we have learned anything about this, they don't lose. You know, it's it's not a situation of if it could happen. It's kind of a situation of, you know, are you willing to sit in this long enough to watch it happen? And I think that's what you're, you have here right now with this. You're kind of just waiting for something really big to happen here. So I'm very bullish on the situation. I'm bullish on the stock. I think as long as you don't get too greedy in this and you find the right time to take your money and go with whatever you're comfortable with, I think you'll be fine with this one in the end. So friends, with all that said, remember, be positive, be you. Take time to invest in that future of yours. Friends, it is the week of Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for all the conversations we have, and I'm wishing everyone the best of luck with the time we have in the stock market this week. And, you know, everybody just having a good week and happy holidays. Friends, I will talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.